The term Black Death is recent. During the plague, it was called the Great Mortality, or the Pestilence. Medieval doctors believed the plague had at least one of several causes. Many thought it was a punishment from God for the sins of the people. I'm Peter, with Today I Learn. Join us as we look back on the plague that killed millions. Join us as we explore the bubonic plague. The Bubonic Plague, the Black Death. The origin. The first recorded outbreak of the plague had affected the Byzantine Empire, or the Eastern Roman Empire, especially its capital, Constantinople. The Sassanid Empire, the last Iranian Empire, and various port cities around the Mediterranean Sea during the years of 541 to 542 AD. The plague is thought to have killed perhaps half the population of Europe and to have eased the Arab takeover of the Byzantine Empire. The plague was originally named the Plague of Justinian after the emperor at the time, Justinian I. This outbreak was thought to have been carried to Constantinople by infected rats that were on grain ships arriving from Egypt as they had imported massive amounts of grain to keep up with food demands. The first report of the epidemic was from the port of Pelusium, Egypt, by a Byzantine historian, Procopius of Caesarea, who was commonly held to be the last major historian of the ancient Western world. What else? However, people may recall the second of three major outbreaks in Europe, nicknamed the Black Death. The plague was named so due to the dark patches on the skin caused by subcutaneous bleeding. This is when blood vessels rupture and blood bleeds into the skin. The Black Death began in Europe in 1347 and had wiped out approximately 75 million people between 1347 and 1351 alone. In perspective, that's the total annihilation of both the United Kingdom and Sweden's reported population in 2016. Altogether, in the 14th century, it was estimated to kill 200 million people in Europe, which is the equivalent to two-thirds of the current United States population in 2016. The epidemic continued to strike every 10 years or so for centuries, until the last major outbreak, known as the Great Plague of London, which occurred in 1665 to 1666. The third major outbreak of the bubonic plague first occurred in China's Yunnan province in 1855. The disease stayed in China for several years before spreading, with the city of Canton encountering the disease in January 1894, and by July the disease had killed 80,000 people. With water traffic travelling between nearby cities such as Hong Kong, the plague had spread rapidly, killing over 2,400 people within two months. From China, the plague spread rapidly, reaching the subcontinent of India in 1896. Over a period of 30 years, the outbreak would spread to the port cities of India, such as Bombay, now known as Mumbai, then travelling to major cities such as Pune, now Pune, Kolkata and Karachi, then to smaller communities, resulting in an estimated total of 12.5 million deaths in China and India alone. The plague thrived for years, moving from country to country, going from India to Hawaii and even to Australia. Between 1900 and 1925, there were 12 major plague outbreaks in Australia originating from shipments arriving at major port cities such as Sydney and Fremantle and spreading to most of the country. Australian Government Health Archives recorded 1906 deaths with Sydney being hit the hardest. The whole pandemic officially was declared over in 1959 by the World Health Organisation when the estimated deaths per year dropped under 200. As recent as 2013, there were about 750 documented cases, which resulted in 126 deaths. The disease is most common in Africa. The plague was used as a bacteriological weapon during the Second Sino-Japanese War between China and Japan. The Japanese Army Air Force bombed Ningbo in 1940 with fleets carrying the bubonic plague, resulting in epidemic plague outbreaks with the inclusion of several thousand of Japanese troops when their own biological weapon attacks had backfired. How is it spread? The bubonic plague is the most common form of plague and is caused by the bacteria Yersinia pestis, a zoonic bacteria usually found in small animals, the reservoir, and their fleas. It is transmitted between animals and humans by the bite of infected fleas, the vector, and also by direct contact of bodily fluids, inhalation, and rarely ingestion of infective materials. 
plague bacillus Yersinia pestis enters at the bite and travels through the lymphatic system to the nearest lymph node where it replicates itself. The lymph node then becomes inflamed, tense and painful and is called a bubo. At advanced stages of the infection, the inflamed lymph nodes can turn into suprating open sores. Yummy. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. There is lots more to come. If you want us to cover another virus or anything else that sounds interesting to you, let us know in the comment section below and we'll see what happens. Check the description below the video for the link to our Facebook page where you will find fun facts, general interest topics, and you'll be able to keep up to date with all the changes we have planned. Feel free to drop us a comment on the Facebook page and say hi. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and don't forget that subscribe button so that you never miss a video and join us next time on our next walk down history.